What's up, boys? Um, y'all already know what this about. Ooh. Welcome, and oh, I'm sorry. I just pulled these, pulled these babies out, and uh, I didn't even introduce myself. Hi, I'm Kevin. So, let's cut to the chase. Is that yeah, Jam Reebok. They're nylons. And here's the new model that they're doing. Jound, design studio, created by Justin Saunders and a multitude of other people, Paula Bonte, um, and just a lot of Montreal creatives. Uh, here is the new model, and I just wanna talk to you guys about them. Here's the Reebok Nylon Classic. Uh, the Nylon Classic is sort of like a vintage retro running sneaker uh, slash training sneaker. Um, this was extremely popular a few decades ago and they've sort of recontextualized it into like sort of like um, an aesthetic vintage runner um, for just casual use obviously but here it is. Um, just a few details about them. All of the great parts. It's a relatively, um, I would say, rougher new buck. I would say new buck. Uh, the white leather parts are going to be here, the back tab, and the other Reebok logo aspect of it. And that's pretty much all of the leather. The majority of the shoe is going to be this, not suede, this nylon. As well as there's kind of like a hidden patch of suede here, or not suede, of leather right over here. So yeah, the primary differences between this upcoming Reebok uh, collaboration is sort of the the vibe of it. I feel like the previous one, it was very much inspired by old retro computer, old tech, sort of definitely like old Apple, um, for lack of a better word. It was also kind of inspired by like a mechanical keyboard. I'll kind of put the information somewhere over here, but I thought it was very cool. It had a cool pop-up, it was very sick. Um, and also this is no different, but this is, I think it's a little bit more of like a softer feel. Uh, the inner terry cloth lining is gonna be this sort of golden coffee color. Same with the bottom, it's gonna be more of like a tan. And personally, I think for these shoes, I think they look much better with the white laces in comparison to the cream. I think the Club C looked better with the cream. I think this shoe looks much better with the white. It just looks so sleek. And if you guys haven't worn classics before, they look super, super sick. Um, they are definitely more of like a sharper silhouette than I'm used to in terms of like a runner, but if you're really into that. Personally, I do think that the Club C is probably my favorite model that they've done. I also think they look much better in person compared to like online videos because I think just the videos or the online photos kind of have like a weird, it gives them like a weird shape to them where it almost seems like too like back and mid heavy. While this one, it's quite, it's quite nice in my opinion. Um, this one interestingly has better quality control than I don't know, the first initial Club C, which I know the initial Club C, they only released a few thousand. These upcoming uh, two models, they're gonna be much more widely available. So please, like if you know any Reebok, um, Reebok stockists, they're probably gonna have them. Keep your social medias updated. I believe sometime end of October, early November, I believe. Um, but yeah, these are super, super sick. I'll show you guys them on feet. Um, they're a very, very simple shoe. There really isn't too much to them. Obviously, they come with cream laces. They're like slightly cream, not too overdoing it. Um, as well as just the white that's been laced up. Yeah, I think they're a very subdued shoe. I Also, I definitely think these look better on foot than just like product photos. Because I think it has to do with like the tongue if it if the tongue has something placed up against it, I think it definitely looks proportionately better. Um, and I know that there's like a video out there on YouTube already where like it's some dude who said that he got a few pairs of them and he doesn't like them. Eh, I think I think they're all right. I think they're okay. Um, 
Yeah, I think for different styles, different moods, the Club C definitely more of a traditional silhouette, while this one is definitely more of like that vintage runner silhouette. You can definitely compare this to like the Daybreak or the Cortez, I would say. Um, it's sort of in that line. So if you like those type of runners, those vintage runners, this one's for you. Uh, retail was, I believe, 155, which, in my opinion, slightly, um, slightly more on the expensive side. But I think that's because one, like collaboration sake. Two, the nylon on this does feel a little bit more thick. Um, I know that this, there's like some people that said that it feels very cheap and it's gonna rip. This feels pretty, pretty darn thick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, feels more rigged rigged more rugged um, I personally think it's a little bit more durable but I obviously haven't worn it enough to really give a full statement on that but I think they look sick so like let me know your guys' thoughts on the Reebok Jung oh nylon classics do you guys like them do you guys hate them do you guys think it's even worth uh, retail or do you guys think it's worth resale resale right now is about like anywhere between 300 to 400 bucks um, I personally say wait for the prices to drop. I think the prices are gonna drop to 200-ish, 250-ish uh, after the global release. So if you couldn't get them on the John drop, please, you'll be fine. I think these are gonna be releasing in like more wide numbers. Uh, so, but uh, yeah, like keep a lookout. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. It's your boy, Kevin. Adios.